Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week I received an email from a photographer and in that email they included an image of two falcons. And the two falcons were pretty far apart from one another, pretty similar to this image that I have in my Lightroom of the two eagles. In the email, the photographer asked me if there was a way they could use Lightroom to get the falcons in their image to be closer to each other. And there is a way, I call it reverse cloning, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do it in Lightroom with these two eagles. Now, in Lightroom, we of course have the spot removal tool, and inside of the spot removal tool, we have two brushes, a clone brush and a heel brush. And most often, you're using these brushes to remove something. You use the heel brush to remove a pimple, or you use the clone brush to like remove garbage that might be on the sidewalk. Well, I call it reverse cloning because we're not going to remove an eagle. We're going to actually add an eagle, and we're going to add the eagle closer to the other eagle. Now, to do it, uh, get the clone brush that is inside the spot removal tool. And uh, I would have feathering somewhere around 30. It depends. But I'd say around 30 should work pretty good, have opacity at 100. Then what you want to do is get a brush that is just kind of, you know, big enough to do some a few strokes through to cover the entire eagle. Now, just go like you normally would. I'm just going to brush across the eagle like this, all the way around, and I'm going to get the entire eagle. Now, of course, when I do this, as you probably know, it's going to disappear, right? So what you need to do is go over the image. Uh, by default, Lightroom will have these, um, these overlays, these tool overlays on auto, but maybe yours got switched. So if you go over the image and you don't see these tool overlays, go down here to the toolbar. Now I'm going to open up the, the film strip just so it maybe looks more like yours. The toolbar is right here. It's this little strip of real estate that's just below the image. Uh, over here on the far left, you'll see it says tool overlay. And right now it's set to auto and you can see there's a lot of different settings there. Um, you could have it at always, but I like it at auto usually. And you could see that we cloned it away and it's sampling an area right over here. Well, all you need to do actually is take this part and put it over here and then take this part and put it over there and just line it up. Make sure you're not cutting off any part of the eagle make sure the all the entire eagle is there um in this case it's an eagle and then you can move it you know closer further away whatever you want wherever you want to put it like right there and you just did what i call reverse cloning in lightroom because typically cloning you're removing something you're cloning away garbage heal you're healing away a pimple here we're actually doing real cloning like is more common in photoshop where we're cloning something in now, um, you have two choices now. Uh, if you want to keep the same size palette, what you need to do is get a second clone brush and clone away the eagle that's up here. Now, um, to do that, if you come over, like I have the clone tool open or the spot removal tool open with the clone brush active. If I go over it, you see how I turn into that little hand? It's like, how do I draw on it, right? Well, what you could do is go down here in this toolbar again, go over in tool overlay, and then go to never. And it just gets rid of the overlay. And when it gets rid of the overlay, you'll be able to come in and paint away the eagle up here. Right? And now that one's gone. Now you could go back over here in the toolbar and change the overlay to auto. And you can see that we have now two, right? We have the one that this, this one, the original one. And then we have that second one, which is right here. Now, if you don't need to keep all this real estate over here, you could simply go to the crop tool. And instead of doing this here, why don't I undo it? Okay, so I undid it. Just go to the crop tool and you could like, you know, crop away that other eagle. And then you could have the two eagles right next to each other. So... That's how you do what I call reverse cloning. Now it does have obvious, obvious limitations, right? In this case, I had a homogenous sky. I mean, you can't do this, uh, you know, unless your area behind whatever you're copying is like, in, you know, repeatable in the area you're going to put it. So it does have its limitations, but it is a technique that you should be aware of and learn. 
because it may come in handy someday whenever you want to put maybe two birds closer together. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.